This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Audible. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rettinger's Riffs. I am back in the States, and I got a story to tell you. It's a story about BlackBerry and how I used BBM quite a bit while I was traveling at the Geneva Auto Show, and I really, really liked it. This is Rettinger's Riffs. Let's get started. Before we get to the story, let me just say, I used an iPhone 5S while I was in Geneva, and my wife uses a Galaxy Note 3, so we couldn't talk on the phone using FaceTime audio, which is pretty solid. Uh, WhatsApp, which we did use for messaging on occasion, doesn't have a voice option. Uh, we could have set up Skype, but I really wanted to give BBM for voice uh, a shot. So I was traveling, I installed BBM on my wife's phone. She never used it before, she's not the most tech savvy. Um, and I wanted to, you know, give it a whirl. I figured with all the hoopla of going over WhatsApp being sold for a lot of money, uh, I wanted to see what BlackBerry could offer. Now, certainly there hasn't been that many reasons to have good news for BlackBerry over the past few years, but I think it's time to give credit where credit is due. BBM is awesome, and BBM for voice is absolutely incredible. The voice quality, and this is all the way on the other side of the world, even when I had a very slow Wi-Fi connection, was Awesome. You could not tell it's on the other side of the, uh, the world. You couldn't hear any echo. It sounded really, really good. It sounds like any typical cell phone call. On her end, again, not the most tech savvy. She was very easy for her to use. She figured out how to make phone calls, figured out how to answer it. Uh, she liked that you could see if her messages were received. Everything just worked really, really well. Um, I did make international calls using Skype to call my family and to use dial actual numbers. And the voice quality didn't measure up to what I was hearing on BBM voice. So if you're looking about traveling, you might want to give BBM a shot. It actually made me want to look at BBM sort of as a whole messaging platform uh, all over again. It worked really quickly. I was using WhatsApp. Uh, usually that works pretty well. You get the little check mark that it got sent, but sometimes there's a delay. I had no delay at all with BBM. That's how we texted each other. It's how we made phone calls. I had no issue with it at all. I do wish on non-BlackBerry devices that there was a way to do video chat. It would have been kind of nice to see my baby and see my wife and such. Uh, but for just straight uh, voice, it was really, really incredible. The only knock uh, that I had on it is the little icon to dial. It was super small. I had to kind of tap it. And when you put it on speaker, uh, there was an echo. So you got to hold the phone up to your head. But that is really, really it. Uh, so if you're traveling abroad and you're thinking about maybe wanting to send messages or make phone calls, uh, it's a really great way to go. And it's now pretty much platform agnostic uh, with the exception of Windows phones. So if you've got Android, iOS, or of course BlackBerry, uh, you can use uh, BBM Voice. It's just going to work well. So again, I, I haven't had the opportunity or really the reason to say many positive things about BlackBerry. They've been you know, hemorrhaging money and sort of their history the past few years has been well documented. There's no point in rehashing. But when they do something right, I feel the need to give credit. Uh, so BBM for voice, really awesome. If you've got friends that live out of the country, if you've got relatives that live out of the country, uh, if you want to for some reason save your minutes, a uh, really solid way to go. Uh, I did try using it when I was just on data to hear the quality. Uh, I was on a 4G connection uh, in Geneva on Swisscom. I did a speed test. Uh, and I was getting about two to three megabits down and about the same up. And I just made a quick couple minute call just to test how it worked on data. And it sounded absolutely identical as it did to uh, on Wi-Fi. So no issue there as well. So if you want to use it in the States, you want to use it on Wi-Fi or over cellular, you're going to have no problem at all. So BlackBerry, nice job. Not something I've had a chance to say very often. And I'm happy to be able to say it again. You guys absolutely nailed it. Let me stop talking about BBM for just one second to thank our friends at Audible. If you've ever driven in the car and you're stuck listening to commercials and you're like, I wish I had something else to listen to, you can catch up on all your reading while you're driving. I'm not talking about looking at your phone or looking at your uh, instrument panel or doing something you shouldn't be doing other than driving. You can listen to a book. Uh, check out the folks at Audible. Go to audible.com. You can get every book from every genre that you've been wanting to catch up with. Uh, you can go to audiblepodcast.com slash techno to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, that's audiblepodcast.com slash techno. It's pretty awesome. You can listen to it in your car or on your iPad. They've got a brand new app uh, or any phone or tablet. You can go ahead and get your Audible on. Now back to the video. So have you tried BBM for voice? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Uh, did it work as well for me as it did for you? Leave questions and comments right in my 
pants region. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. What's up everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.